not losing is a habit then Arsenal are hooked up but they were ever so fortunate yesterday. Wolves were wonderful, Arsenal less so. Yet, somehow, it's 16 games unbeaten for Unai Emery's side. More by luck than by chance, Henrik Mahitaryan's fortuitous late goal earning the Gunners' undeserved point. The fact goalkeeper Bernd Leno was Arsenal's best player illustrative of how this pulsating encounter played out. But in the end it's a point of peace dot in the Premier League, that is simply all that matters. Yet Nuno Espirito Santo should take solace from his team's impressive performance. After three straight losses heading into their visit to the Emirates, the Wolves boss may have feared the worst. Instead his team conjured a fearless display, full of confidence and invention. On this evidence, Wolves will be a top flight outfit next season. We could have won but that's football. We will look and analyze what was missing and why we didn't," said the Wolves boss. But to come to such a difficult stadium and be able to play the way we did, we are happy. In contrast, despite not losing since August, it's now four draws from the last five games for Arsenal. It's far from an unraveling. But after their 11-match winning sequence, Emery has much to ponder going into the international break. No concern is more pressing than how to extract the best out of Mesut Erzil, who was hooked again yesterday. Emery must also find a solution to the slow starts that have seriously inhibited his team in recent weeks. Once more his side were slow out of the blocks yet, Wolves taking a 13th minute lead. What Granit Xhaka was thinking in the lead up to the goal beggars belief. Arsenal were in control when Xhaka let Seed Kolasinac's pass roll past him without a teammate in sight. Ivan Cavalera picked up the loose ball before laying it off to Raul Jimenez, who returned the favour to allow his Portuguese teammate to tap home. If Cavallari was the emerging as the hero in attack, Connor Cody was pushing his teammate close in defence. On this form it's a matter of time before Cody is called up by Gareth Southgate. Cody's great block to deny Alexander Lacazette from scoring a certain goal in the 23rd minute was inspired. Seconds later it was Ryan Bennett's turn. Flinging himself in front of Alexi Wobie's strike has Wolves struggled to clear their lines. But once they did, the visitors should have increased their lead. Costa led the charge, burning past Arsenal's depleted defence to enter the box before his effort was brilliantly saved by Leno, who bravely gobbled up the resultant loose ball, taking a boot to the chest from Jimenez for his troubles. Costa saw another effort saved by Leno four minutes later before Jimenez fired over as Wolves continued to be the most potent force. Halftime couldn't come soon enough for Arsenal. Emery's solution was to bring on Matteo Ganduzi for Iwobi. It was tough on the Nigerian, Emery could have justified hooking anyone in a red shirt after their lackluster first half. But the Gunners boss had to do something, Ginduzi providing Arsenal with an extra man in central midfield, that was being controlled by Wolves pair Ruben Neves and Joao Moutinho, had rhyme and reason to it. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, who started on the left flank, joined Lacazette up front, while Urziel, anonymous in the first half, took his place behind the new look strike pairing. Yet their fluency continued to escape them, though Lucas Torreira did see his venomous long ranger tipped over the bar by Rui Patricio. If anything, Wolves were threatening to extend their advantage, Shakran Mustafi at full stretch to stop Costa's cross with Jimenez waiting to tap home while Costa was having a storming game down the Wolves' right. Obama Young, 
however, should have leveled in the 73rd minute, somehow hitting the post from point-blank range after excellent build-up play from Torreira and Bellerin. Emery was in disbelief, he wasn't the only one. Chances don't get much better than that. The Arsenal manager's response was to replace Urziel with Aaron Ramsey, while Kolasinac, who was poor, was put out of his misery coming off from a heat are young. But still a Wolves, threatened Diogo Hota denied inside the final six minutes after a rapid counter-attack. The stop proved pivotal as Arsenal leveled moments, Mahitar Jans floated cross bypassing everyone, including Patricio, to send the Emirates into a frenzy. Arsenal were furious fourth official Roger East had signaled five minutes of stoppage time. At full time they were thanking their lucky stars it wasn't longer dive deep into injury time Leno saved his team, stopping Adama Traore in a one-on-one before Morgan Gibbs-White struck the underside of the bar with a precise effort from 20 yards, 